Back to the main interface um, within Focus. So at the top left, we have the capture function, which is when you are shooting tethered, you can control your camera and tell it to, to capture an image. And that's the button there, but it is also over here in the capture panel on the right hand side in the orange trigger capture button there. Export feature is exactly as it sounds. It's when you've decided which files you want to export into a different format because we're working with the files in a 3F format at the moment, which is the raw file format. And when we choose export, we can choose a number of different uh, output uh, settings. Here I've got TIFF file 16-bit and I can choose the sequence name or I can choose to rename the files to a different uh, sequence of numbers uh, or something that I set in specifically. I can give it a job name which gives the uh, sequence number a, a starting prefix name um, as I designate it in here. I can also, with the additional output uh, feature selected, I can set to export a second set of files so I can export a set of JPEGs as well as a set of uh, main TIFF files if I wanted. Now within the export functions you've also got edit and in the edit functions you can create your own custom export settings. So if you want to specifically export files at a given size, a given uh, dimension, uh, a given quality, a given profile, um, then you can set all that up and save uh, new presets that you create here so that you can choose from those in the preset menu here, uh, giving you the ability to basically export your files in a variety of formats uh, as well as the standard ones there. So export, very straightforward, uh, very easy to do. And you'd obviously normally undertake your export after you've made your adjustments to your picture, your exposure, your shadow, your highlight control, color adjustments, and once you're happy with the image. Obviously, if you're already happy with the image as it is in its standard form, you can export, choose to export straight away. The import feature is um, very simple. That is when you are importing images off of the memory card. So for example, if you're using the C fast cards with the H6, you can import them from the memory card. If you've been shooting on location untethered, you can import them from the memory card through a card reader into your computer. And then you need to choose import them into focus. The modify feature is an excellent feature if you make an adjustment to one particular image file. So let's just show you that. For example, let me just choose this particular image file. So if I want to adjust the exposure of this image file, maybe darken it down a little bit, um, increase the shadow fill, for example. Let's say I want to put it, add a little bit of clarity, um, potentially boost the contrast. If I wanted to make those modifications, and then I decided, you know what, I really like that modification. I want to apply that to uh, all of the images or a number of the other images. Then I can simply select the other images by uh, using the command or the shift key to highlight the uh, given files that I want to apply that to. And then I can hit modify. And then you can uh, choose to add all of the adjustments that you made to those other files simultaneously. Now, if you didn't want to choose all of the adjustments, so say for instance, you made a crop on one image, but you didn't want to apply that crop to the other images, you only wanted to apply the color or contrast adjustments, then you could say uncheck all, and you could then go back in and choose to say, okay, I just want to apply the color correction and the exposure correction adjustments, and then you click modify, and then, Focus will automatically modify the other image files that you had selected to the same setting as the first file that you modified. If you want to undo the modify, you can just click undo modify adjustments of images and then that will put them back into the previous state that they were. Uh, the original um, image that you modified would also be put back into the previous state as well. Now, in addition to that, if you make an adjustment, for example, on say this image, and I wanted to adjust the exposure, say a lot brighter, for example, if I choose this tab here, 
then I can say modify exposure of selected files rather than going into the modify command at the top left there. And that way works out quite quickly for making modifications because I can choose a number of files that I want to modify just with that exposure adjustment without having to bring up the modify dialog and without having to uncheck a number of the settings. I can simply go modify exposure of selected files and it will now modify those files just with the uh, settings that were adjusted in this one particular panel in the exposure panel. And that applies to all of the other panels that where you can uh, make different adjustments and modifications. So you can be more specific rather than having to uncheck all of the different uh, modify uh, requirements in the modify dialog box.